Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. So this is going to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon and uh, Leo Rising weekly tarot reading for a September 9th to September 16th, uh, 15th, excuse me, 2019. And bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are going to jump right into it. So the first card which stands for the topic of the Leo week is going to be the hangman followed by the next one which represents the challenges that Leo needs to overcome throughout the week that is going to be the world card. Then what we do have it is the positive aspect of, uh, of the Leo week that will be a person that we do have in the face of the queen of swords. And then the last one here, guys, which is the challenges, the, uh, the guidance that Tower is offering to you, that is going to be the Seven of Wands. All right, Leo, so that will be a rough week, guys, for what it seems. Uh, that something is going to really give you a very, very hard time, and it is a, a thing that you wish to finally get out of your, of your way, you know, something that you want to just get over with and, and just leave it behind your back, leave it in the past. Right, but before we see how this thing really plays out, let's run the cards one more time. So the first one here, the hangman, that is the topic and the general theme of your week, followed by the challenges that you need to overcome here, which is in the face of the world card. Then what we do have, it is the positive aspect of the week, that is going to be the queen of swords. And the last one here of the guidance that Tsaro is offering, that will be the seven of wands. All right, so um, we do have the hangman as a topic and as a theme. So what this card really stands for is that throughout this week, you are to um, kind of have a change of um, of the way you understand how the things are working. Or uh, it's more accurate to say that this week is going to be for you um, simultaneously a, a breakthrough and as well a test of faith. You know, it is very likely that throughout the start of the week, nothing is going to really work out for you. Uh, whatever you do, it's going to prove itself rather futile. And uh, <clears throat> it is likely that you are going to uh, drop off... Um, not spiritually, but you, yeah, you're going to drop off in spirit in, in, in a sense of that you ain't going to see any reason why you should push things forward. You know, as everything you do, uh, it doesn't look like that it produces the results that you require. That is the test of faith and simultaneously the breakthrough, because it's very likely that throughout the week, you're going to start changing your perspective, either upon your career endeavors or upon your relationship endeavors, understanding why the things aren't working out, you know, and what are you doing wrong? So you have the time and the chance to fix it, to correct it, and this time around, you know, to break through. Now, very important here to be said as well for the hangman is that the circumstances you need in order to make that breakthrough, they will be offered to you on their own accord, all right? You don't have to do something 
peripheral uh, in order to set up the stage. The stage is gonna set up itself on its own accord and that will be the time where you need to start making something happening. The accompanied card here is going to be the Queen of Swords formation. It is a, a passive enemies that we do have. So you know, that will be a bit shocking for you, Leo, but it's, it will turn out, well, basically what these two cards here are saying, guys, there is no other way I to divulge it. It is that you are not as far as you think you are. You're not as good as you think you are into this particular endeavor, you know, and it does require a certain different, either different set of skills, different approach, you know, or in general, different strategy, which you are to understand throughout the week. So what are going to be the challenges here? And it's, oh, excuse me, let me go back into the next, into the previous cards. And especially when it, when it comes to tackling into uh, with with different people, let's say you do have a rough time with uh, your partner into relationship, you may think that you understand what they want, but that's not going to be the case. And slowly but steadily, you are going to start obtaining that perception, you know, of what your partner truly wants and you will have, like I said, the time and the um, the means to fulfill it, if you want to, of course. So the challenges here are uh, in the world card, and that is even more difficult when we do have the hangman of the first one. So the world card is about completion, and that will be the challenge. It will be challenging for you to complete whatever you're going for. You know, it's going to be a challenging for you as well to deviate from it because the world also represents a different perspective after the com the completion comes around you know a different goal a different agenda after the completion it's is set but as you as it's going to be very difficult or challenging for you to reach that completion there won't be any other goal so it will be difficult for you as well to see that there is a life beyond it okay so let's say that um you do have rough time into your relationship, okay? And until you don't, and you will have that mindset that until you don't fix that thing into the relationship, nothing else matters while it does matter. And that will be a challenge as well to understand that other things also matter. The accompanied card here is going to be the Ace of Wands, the formation. It is a passive neutrals that we do have. So with the Ace of Wands, you can attend to your hobbies. Um, <clears throat> in order to uh, diminish, you know, the, um, the oppression of this sense that until you don't fix this, whatever this is for you and whatever you're coping with throughout the week, you know, there is nothing else that matters. So you can attend to your hobbies, you, you can attend to those small but gaining full enterprises that are a little bit, you know, make your mind or kind of like occupies your mind so you don't think 24-7 for the problems that you are experiencing. And then we go to the uh, next one, which is the positive aspect, and that will be a great deal of help that you're gonna get from this person here. It could be a woman, it could be a man, uh, queen of swords, it does represent a, a very agile, uh, agile individual. Agile in a sense of that it very well fits in any kind of um, situation that it, uh, it present itself to this, to this personality. Now, the good thing about this card falling into this position is that person had the same kind of issue as you are having right now, incapable, you know, to, uh, you know, finish a specific, um, <clears throat> specific wish or specific endeavor. So they had that same situation back in the days and they were able to do it. So they do have an experience into what you are facing right now. And together, uh, it seems that you will be able to push through or rather like through the guidance that this person here gives you as well, uh, you will be able to push the things through. Now, the Queen of Swords also may refer to health and if you are having health issues, or especially if these health issues are, are, are prolonged, you know, you have something wrong with you, you went to few doctors, you went to few clinics or hospitals, and no one can tell you what is wrong or none of these um, procedures that they have prescribed you is giving is producing any results. Well, these cards then speaks that throughout this uh, week, you are going to visit or it is advisable for you to visit the least plausible um, specialist 
into this field, someone that you have not even considered up until this moment, and it is exactly where probably the improvement is going to come around. You know, tarot is not designed to answer for health, but as a general reading, I am obliged to mention it. So uh, we do have here the uh, Wheel of Fortune, which accompanies the Queen of Swords formation. It is a active friends that we do have. So with the, with the Wheel of Fortune <clears throat> here, there are many uh, assets that you are not capitalizing on in this, uh, in this struggle that you do have. And the job of this queen here is exactly to pick point those assets and to help you understand how you can make this, uh, how, how you can utilize them so you can make your life much more easier. Additionally to that, using those assets also could provoke a uh, very impending kind of like very positive change into your standpoint, into your career position, for example, or into your marriage, into your relationship as well. And uh, with some of those assets as well, you can find a uh, a big opportunity to move forward <clears throat> in a sense of that a big, big improvement here. But the whole point is that you need to listen what this person is having to say, um, it will be no different than, for example, um, a teenager who is, um, how do you say it in English? Uh, so uh, you, you have a teenager and a parent who is trying to, um, to cancel the teenager, but the teenager doesn't want to listen because they think that, you, that they know it all. Well, that will be the situation here. Now, this person will try to give you advice, will try to give you guidance, but what do they know? I mean, it is that, that is going to be the, your standpoint. I mean, what do you know, man? Just mind your own business, you know, and I will deal with this. Well, they very well know, you know, they, they, they do have that experience that you do lack. And the last one is going to be the guidance that Saru is offering. That is going to be the seven of wands. And here as a guidance, first of all, you should be very calm, all right? We're not talking even about patience here. We, we're talking about calmness. You shouldn't allow anybody to see your weakness because that particular situation is going to be your weakness. You need to appear very confident in front of everybody that you are to meet throughout the week. Additionally to that, the seven of wands here points that your time is going to come. Do not waste your bullets. Do not waste your arrows until that, that time comes around. Because when the time for you to make your shot comes around and you beforehand wasted all of your options available, or in other words, your bullets, well, you are going to be empty handed. You ain't going to have anything to shoot with. Okay. And the last one here is going to be the sun card, which, sta well, which stands for a active supporter to the seven of uh, wands. So with the sun, it's going to be very important that you maintain the good terms with everybody that you are talking with, that uh, you are um, that you are depending on as well. It's, it will be very important to not close any door into your environment, even if that means that you have to put on a, a brave smile, even though it may not be a sincere smile. All right, it's important to open a to to maintain open doors for a future growth. Uh, also with the sun and the seven of uh, with the sun and the seven of wands here, it will be important not to um, how do you say it? to give up in a sense of that bail on a, a certain endeavors or situations which are um, which are kind of appearing very rough at, the, at that point and you may decide that pff, isn't worth uh, tackling with this uh, with this in event or with this uh, with this endeavor, while in the same time it does worth it. Now we are talking about assets and everything that you do throughout this week. It is a an asset. Okay, even if you may not know it yet, yet it is an asset, and that queen is going to help you see that, and is going to help you take advantage of it and utilize on it. So that being said, Leo, this was your weekly tarot reading, guys, for September 9th to September 15th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.